Hey, it's Ben. What a Pokemon day it has been. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Hey everyone, it's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The end of the game is nigh. We have the Elite Four and the Champion, and of course a whole bunch of things to do after post-game. So welcome to the end. The end in which we will be using our team in order to beat the entire rest of the game. Our team has been kind of temporary. Honestly, it's not the best team ever. I'm one of those Pokemon players where everyone that's in your in-game team, you can care less about them, right? They're not going to be as good as if you were to pure breed them with 31 IVs and the stats that they actually use and then use the EV training and the correct natures to get them going, right? It, tell me I'm not the only one that's like that. <laughs> but I love my Infernape. No way, man. Gotta get a jolly one. Adamant one. Fully EV train it. The EVs are all trash right now. <laughs> anyway, that, some of that stuff might be going way over your head as to all that stuff, but that's like the true Pokemon master speaking right there. Just saying. Anyway, good to see you guys. Hi, hello, how are you? What's up, KH, Laney in the house, J Mac, uh, BWA, G10, the Greninja. Hello, what's up? What's new and exciting? I saw Charmaine floating around. What's up, Grisama? Mark's here. Mark is back. Cool. Ladies in the house, what's going on, Springy? Good to see every single one of you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for hanging out today. All right, so uh, yesterday's, or yesterday, wow, look at that. What day is today? I don't even know, man. Uh, the previous episode's premiere ball catch was epic. And if you guys didn't already see us catch this wonderful beauty in a premiere ball, you have got to be kidding. You can see that right over there. Boom, premiere ball on top corner. You love it. It was one of the hardest premiere ball catches we've had to do. It took like about an hour to get him. But we did get him at 47, and I'm not going to touch him. We're not going to give him any... EVs, this is a trophy Pokemon. One does not simply use this on your team. Get out of here. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. You can play the game however you want to. Catch him in a Master Ball, I don't care. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. But anyway, it's a great day in the neighborhood for Pokemon because we are going to finish off the game and it's gonna be so much fun. So thanks so much for watching all these videos. You guys are the best. All right, all right. So today we're gonna go over to the Elite Four. It's going to, it's going to happen. We're going to do the Elite Four, and then we're going to jump into the Champion Battle. And don't you dare forget to tell me to do my combat animations on while we beat the Champion. I think that'll be really, really fun. Anyway, uh, if you guys are ready, show me some thumbs ups in the chat. Let's get things going. What's up, Zar Sour Popcorn? Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, Shoutouts to all of you guys that have helped out with our launches. Uh, if you guys didn't already see, we have literally six days left of our plushy campaign. We want to be able to get the most of these out, and it's a one-time run. So get one of them, support your favorite YouTuber, have a little stuffed plushie that you can uh, watch some YouTube with. He's awesome. We just recently hit 450. Our goal is 500. And that's 50 within six days? I, we could totally do it. Absolutely. And if you guys are also feeling generous and you want some really cool merch to go along with it, definitely take a look at the uh, Mystery of Legend long sleeve tee. Oh my gosh, what do those symbols mean? I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to focus too much on it. Anyway, use the coupon code PEARL10 at checkout to save 10%. All right, other than that, we good here? Yeah, 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 we're very good. Okay, so we're at part seven over here. Our playlist is filling up right now. Make sure that you guys take a look at the entire series thus far. We've got a lot happening and we're starting to do our, um, yeah, our little tips and tricks tutorial videos. So be sure to check those out and support them accordingly. Thank you so much. All right, I'm doing well, Alec. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. All right, let's get this going. Let's get this going. I'm ready. Metal Lion, are you ready too? Yeah, Elizabeth has like a million thumbs up over here. That's perfect. That's what I like to see. All right, I'm ready. Let's hit this. I am so, so ready to beat this entire game. And then we can go and play some Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, it's a good time. All right, let's jump in. Welcome back. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you guys that are watching. We are going to jump into the Elite Four right now. It's Abdallah here, back with more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, as you guys know, we have our full-on gym badges. They're all the way over here. They're super shiny, totally not shined right now, but we can shine them a little bit later if we want to. Anyway, our gym badges are here. That means that we can move forward, right? Right? Uh, do I own Waterfall? I don't own the Waterfall TM, so I don't really know how we're going to get uh, over to where we need to go. So let's talk to Jasmine, see if she has anything for us. This city makes me feel at home somehow. 
It's next to the sea and there's a lighthouse. Oh, that's the city's gym badge. You must be very good. Uh, uh, please take these too. Is this waterfall? Better be. And it's waterfall. Perfect. Okay, great. I was going to say, if I have to look around for waterfall, that's going to be a pain. So now that we have the uh, waterfall and the hidden moves app, we're so set. Each of those technical machines contains waterfall. If you use waterfall from the Pokets, you'll be able to get to the Pokemon League. I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. All right, Jasmine. Well, thank you so much for your good luck wishes. I uh, found a random bee barrel and we're going to jump on top of it and surf all the way across. So here's Route 223. Totally not in the mood for any wild spawns right now. So what we're going to be doing is doing some max repel. Uh, we're going to use that and try to dodge out of the way of these people. Um, we, since we're on the water over here, Infernape doesn't naturally do well. Uh, so we should be able to use our Luxray um, by moving him with the Y button right down this way, just in case we get caught by one of these swimmers. But I don't know if that's going to be happening. We'll see how it goes. All right. Say goodbye to Jasmine. Do you guys remember which Pokemon Jasmine had in Johto? Do you remember her entire team? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell you what Misty had. Misty had a star you want to star me. Brock had Geodude Nonex. Yeah. Okay, so maybe, maybe I, Sabrina? No, I don't even know. Sabrina Kodabra, Alexam, Abra? No idea. All right, all right, let's go. Hmm, here we go. We I got a spark happening. Boom. Mantike done. All right, Jasmine had two Magnemites and a Steelix. Nice Google search, folks. Excellent, excellent. Very proud of you. <laughs> Here's a Remoraid. Uh, we're gonna beat this thing up. Honestly, it does not matter. You know what I'm very jealous of, though? I want Ice Fang on my Luxray. I don't know how I'm going to get Ice Fang on my Luxray. Outside of like using heart scales, but I haven't been in the underground at all. So I think my Pokemon are going to really just be who they are right now. Can you imagine if my Luxray had Psychic Fangs, um, Ice Fang, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, just had like all the fangs. How cool would that be? So that's why like an in-game team, it's just like, you don't really, you don't necessarily need an in-game team, dude. Once you beat the Elite Four and you start actually breeding for Pokemon, yeah, you won't be able to get any of that. So, uh, yeah, you won't, get any, you won't get any good stuff until the very end of the game anyway. All right, so I don't want to battle you. I don't want to battle you, but I'll take this Pokeball. It's a Pearl, cool. That's the version that we're playing. Some of you guys uh, are just now noticing. All right, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna surf on it, and I'm gonna take a step forward to not fight this dude. We're gonna come right down around here, and we are all set. We are all set. Once in post game, you're looking for a Razor Fang? Dude, you don't even, I don't even know where the heck that is. And you think that I could trade it to you? Nah, son. Sorry, dude, that's not a service I provide. All right, here we go. <laughs> but thank you. Oh. Moving on, moving on, let's go. So that was it, the Elite Four. Uh, oh, hello there, hi. Uh, it broke me once, uh, but that only added to my resolve. What broke you once, the Elite Four? Oh my gosh, it's Victory Road. Hold on, I didn't realize that we we're already here at Victory Road. That's cool. I almost forgot that Victory Road was a thing, man. Woo! Here we go, here we go. Let's go, Victory Road was so... Oh man, so that's typical, right? You go through some sort of big cave uh, called Victory Road and we just make our way through. I don't know... Yeah, I don't really know the way through Victory Road. I would honestly have to take a look around. But you know what? It's nothing that we can't figure out, right? And there's no legendaries just chilling in Victory Road either, so... What's this? That, those, why can't I... Okay. Yeah, maybe I just can't go that way because those are immovable rocks. Great, here we go. Hmm... Oh, look at the Psychic with three Pokémon. I think we're using... Oh, Haunter. Oh, this is cool. 
We've seen a Haunter with Voltorb eyes. Luxray is gonna bite this thing. Yeah, we don't even know Crunch, right? Like, that's not even a, a move that we have in our Luxray right now. I really hope I can learn it. Crunch would be really great. But I wish I had all the fangs, man. But if you guys are playing Pokemon Go, Community Day, Psychic Fangs on this thing, that's kind of exciting. Here's an Alakazam, we're good. Whoa, whoa, here we go, big biting, big biting. Alakazam gone in a flash, dude, he is done. Double spoons, no thanks. Although I wish I had an Alakazam, right? You remember that we've been sitting on Kazaa for so long? Kazaa is like our, our panic switch. Kazaa can like sweep through entire teams with just his moveset. Uh, here comes Gengar, so we're good. All right, so this is fun. We have Gengar. That's good to see. You know, actually beating all these trainers at the endgame area is really helping out with our national decks. I haven't really checked it in a while, but we should be at like over 100. Maybe like 110, 115 out of 150. So we should be good. All right, anyway. TM41 Torment. Interesting. Okay, TM41 Torment. I guess I'm going to climb up here, and then we are going to uh, attempt to figure out our way forward again. Uh, I'm going to go this way, and then there is a there's another guy right over here, so he's going to challenge us. I should be using our Infernape right now, because Infernape can easily get a lot more money. All right, here's Birdkeeper Hannah with a Knock Towel. Okay, I mean, birds are fine. Boing, boing. Yeah, can you imagine if you played Pokemon Generation 1 and you didn't have anyone to trade with? How hard would that be? Because you'd be stuck with a Kadabra. And you'd be stuck with a Haunter. Which does not have the ability to evolve at all. Uh, well, this is, yeah, it's a Star Raptor. I'll stick around. We're good. I don't necessarily need this, but that's fine. Look, we got a Star Raptor over here with the Intimidate. Cool. Uh, I can go... Yeah, we can Volt Switch. If you survive the Volt Switch, I'll be fine. And you, of course you didn't. Good. So Volt Switch was special. He used Intimidate, which lowered my attack by one stage, but since I attacked him with a special attack, it didn't even matter. Alright, look at that. Sorry, Hannah. We got work to do, man. I gotta get out of this place quick. And I don't know the way forward. But this is definitely not the way. Great, just for a full heal. And I, there's no way I can climb down there either. Okay. Cool, we just fought Hannah. What? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna be rock climbing down and then going under. Ooh, yeah, that's it. All right, we're going under this way. We're going under this way. We're moving up. And here's a big old trainer. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to get Infernape out. It's a gold duck. Wow, cool. Gold duck. Not gold. What does a shiny gold duck look like? Do you guys know the coloration of shiny gold duck? I swear if you don't say gold. Alright, Cloud9 does not do anything. Here's a big spark. Goodbye. Okay, 54. Look at that. Luxray and Altaria. Doing really well, level 54. Uh, here comes a Blissey. Oh, you better believe Infernape's coming out for Blissey. Gosh, I love Blissey so much. Oh, that's a big Blissey right now. Let me see what Power Up Punch does. Like a quarter damage? Or not. I'll take it all. I guess maybe I'm just used to fighting a Blissey in like a gym in Pokemon Go. Where like it does no damage. 6,000 experience for beating up that Blissey. Can you believe that? Holy moly. Dragon Claw versus Sand Attack. See you later. Alright, that's great. Learning Dragon Claw. We're in. All 
All right, Mariah. That was fun. Thank you so much, Mariah. I enjoyed that thoroughly. All right, so coming from this, I'm going to swap around the amulet coin and just make sure that we make the most money possible. All right, uh, let's see what happens when we go up here. I hope this is the way forward. All right, so we're breaking rocks, making our way forward. We can make our way to the left and to the right. Okay, push it, push it. Perfect. Dude, these guys are everywhere. I And that was, there was really no point in doing that. <laughs> and I gotta be on this bike too in this one spot? I don't think that this is the way at all. All right, here we go, biking. Can you imagine if you ran out? If you ran out of um, Max Repels? Max Ether can totally help out. Like, we can use that. For sure, for sure. So I went all this way just for a Max Ether. Oof. Here we go. Perfect. And nothing down this way, just double checking. Yeah, there was nothing. No, it was just a loop. Okay, cool. It was for one trainer, a loop, and a max ether. I mean, you never know when that's going to come in handy, right? And here's a max elixir. That's even better. Cool. So we have to find our way forward here. Interesting. Yeah, this is very windy, I'm noticing. Beat that guy. Beat this person. Oof. All right, well, let's continue on. Get our way back forward. Man, we have to find the way. I almost want to just pull up my uh, my video for uh, when I beat this in the previous game. Yeah, that doesn't seem like the way. Let's go this way. Mm -hmm. This doesn't seem like anything I need to do there. I went upwards. What's in the middle here? No, that's just a ramp downwards. Can't go there. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, so there is a little rock climbing path downwards that I can do. So if I go rock climb up. I'm just wasting all these max repels because I'm going in a circle. Oh, this isn't even it, man. This is the way straight out. That's the way forward. This is the way up. There's nothing there. Can't go there. Can't break those rocks. Where am I going, man? Oh, this is nasty. Yo, let me just open up my... <laughs> Let's, let me open up my old video of what this looks like, and we'll eventually find it. These can't go anywhere that way. Here we go. I think this is, like, the only way forward here. There's no, like, rocks that I'm climbing. There's no rock climbing downward spots over this way. What is going on? Man, Max Repels, I'm running out. Maybe I should go over there and buy some more. I only have seven. I got a, a bunch of Super Repels. I should be good. All right, let's look around. Mm, and I've done this entire area here. Wow. Two seconds away from opening this up. <laughs> Currently doing so. A boulder. Using strength, baby. Victory Road and the Elite Four, man. What? Sinnoh's Elite Four. Alright, anyway, moving around. We'll just look around a little bit more, and if we can't figure it out, we should be, um... It's just a big old maze. I'm, I'm missing something obvious. Like this right here. This was my obvious um, tell that I was missing. Uh, I was too afraid of this person to explore the down area over here. So maybe it's a way out? I don't know. Let's look. Okay, Rapid Ash, let's go. Maybe this entire episode is de dedicated to Victory Road. Victory Road's very, very hard to navigate through. 
All right, let's go. Elite Four, Victory Road. Next, I'm just sparking this guy. Wow, okay, um, who am I switching with? <laughs> uh, I'm good, I'll just stay in. Carnivine? Uh, this would have been pretty cool. This one's like a dark, what is he, like dark, uh, dark grass? Yeah, that's like a three hit count. Leaf Tornado? No thanks. Seafloor Cavern. Yeah, I don't really remember that. Rampardos? Yeah, I'll switch. Rampardos is going to eat the wrath of a couple of these. Alright, Mold Breaker, this guy. Here we go. Power Up Punch should be good enough to knock him out. If he head smashes me, I'm done. What does he got? Headbutt. Okay. Yo, Rampardos is no joke. This Pokemon has like one of the highest attack stats in the game. He's really, really good. Anyway, moving on. Anyone else? Bronzong, 49. Cool, man. Sorry, Ace Trainer, you're done. All right, uh, now, this is it. So I'm going to move uh, this rock down, this one over. Doesn't seem legit, does it? No, this is a, a no. Um, hmm? If I brought that one down, Yeah, okay, so I did that one slightly suboptimally. All right, all right, got this, got this. All right, so we're gonna go right back in. I have to put the left one down. I have to put the left one down and then move on forward that way, so we're good. Bum, bum, bum. It's like the last puzzle within the game. You're just like, okay, like, I'm ready to fight the Elite Four. I don't really want to do exploration puzzles, like, at all. So, let's just figure it out. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. Push that. We're gonna go around. And we're good. So, that was a puzzle. Whew. I completely overlooked that, because I just didn't want to do a trainer battle. But, we're good. All right, let's go. Sydney, you're mine with a Clefable. Okay, uh, Clefable is a fairy type. I don't have any steel type moves. I got Gyro Ball that I could use. Uh, Bite is not gonna work. And yeah, this thing's pretty big. I don't know what we're gonna do against him besides just brute force him. Moonblast, wow, okay, okay, good, good. Perfect. That's a lot of leveling up, man. Kazaa 57. Torterra? Oh, you better believe we've never seen a Torterra in this game yet. Dawn's been slacking. She does not have that. Okay, here we go. Flame Wheel. Enjoy. You'll survive that. Wow. Okay, Shell Bell. Earthquake? Yeah, right, man. This is just not a good matchup. It's just based off of speed at this point. So what if I had Flare Blitz, uh, and then I equipped him with the Shell Bell to mitigate some of the recoil damage? Would that be cool? Who's trying to learn Calm Mind? Oh, my monkey's trying to learn Calm Mind? No way. A Calm Mind? Infernape? Never. You never see that. 
I mean, he, dude, Infernape's great because he can run mixed or he can run special. He's really good. Like, don't, don't go knock on this guy. He's really awesome. All right, so we're going to go this way. Uh, I'm going to have to fight this dude uh, with, wow, Luxray is in need of health. So let's give him a hyper potion. All right, let's go, let's go. Clayton, a Star Raptor. Oh, this is good. We already have the electric type advantage on this, so we're all set. We're gonna do double intimidate, that's fine. Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so this is good. It's double intimidate, I'm gonna volt switch out. Oh, look at you! Quick attacking me, getting that first hit in. I like Star Raptor. That is actually a good, like, first little Pokemon. Star Raptor in close combat is amazing. Star Raptor with Brave Bird, really good. All right, we're going in for an it. Uh, I'm sorry, who's coming out? Oh, dang it, Hippowdon. Uh-oh, this is not a good matchup for me. He's very bulky, but I might be able to knock him out with a uh, Grass Knot. He's very heavy and weak against it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Hippowdon weighs a ton, a metric ton, so we're good. All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, Alteri wants to learn Sky Attack? No, we're not going to do that yet. Here we go. Okay, so now we made it across here, which will allow us to go down this way. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, using another Max Repel? Sure thing, man. Let's continue on. Alright, so this is the way forward. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be pretty interesting. I kind of want to bring Altaria for this fighting dude. But I, I guess Luxray should be fine right now. So let's go. Alright, let's do it. He's got only one. Black Belt Miles, you're mine. Here we go. Wow, I'm a champ. Ooh, wow, this is cool. Get ready, get ready. Here it is, the spark. Are we going? Are we going? Big spark, big spark. Ooh, not enough. Dual chop. Oh, I should have volt switched out. Yo, this guy is hurting me. This is our first time seeing a Machamp in the game. So this is also good for your national decks. You're able to absolutely go through. And you don't even have to trade for one. So I like that. Black Belt Miles, you're done. Thank you so much. Thanks for the national decks entry right there. We got to see one live with four arms in its glory. All right, I'm going to do another... Uh, no, I don't need a Hyper Potion. I'm good. Machamp is such a good Pokemon. All right, here's a spot. Wow, this is a long... This one's a long victory road, man. Okay, don't necessarily need to go that way. This person's going to ambush me as soon as I land. And then we have to find out the way. We must find the way. Get ready. Chingling. Luxury, I know you can do it. It's a Chingling. What does this thing even do? This is a baby version of Chimeco. I don't... Oh, yeah, it is actually Psychic. I was gonna say, that's like a normal type, man. Get that thing out of here. We found one of these just randomly in a cave and we caught it the other day, which was pretty good, so... All right, anyway, keep on going. Future Sight, I'm not ever gonna learn Future Sight. That's good. Uh, Chimeco, we're good, man. We just got this bite and we're all set. Here we go, Chimeco, taking the hit like a champ. 
using a yawn. Wow. Okay, yawn's cool. It's a two-turn sleep. Uh, you yawn the first turn, and then after the next turn, that Pokemon falls asleep. So, I mean, it's good. It's just, I don't know. It's 100% accurate. It's better than hypnosis in certain cases. Oh, there we go. Finally learning Crunch at 56. Oh, get rid of Bite. We have now learned Crunch. Like a big bite out of these Psychic and Ghost types. Great, thank you so much. Valencia, beautiful. Thank you. Nice bowl cut, by the way. Alright, next up... Uh, yes, I guess I... Oh, are we going Waterfallen? Sure. We could explore around here, but I'm kind of in the mood to, to move on out. We Oh, cool. Here's another Psychic uh, person, maybe with some Ghost types. I got a brand new move in the form of Crunch, so yeah, I'll be glad to help out with that. Dragon Tamer? I'm sorry, what? A Gabite? I have one too! Okay, well, it's a Gabite. So this thing is probably going to use like a ground type move, and I am in pain if I get hit by it. So, uh, knowing him using a ground type move, I'm going to head over to Altaria, swap out, maybe dodge the potential Earthquake or Bulldoze, and then proceed with a Dragon Pulse to KO. Unless it predicts that and then uses a Bite. Wow. Okay, alright, cool. We can do, yeah, Dragon Pulse. That's great. See ya. So this is fun. We're able to see a Gabite in the wild out here. Super cool. Purple Lance, ha, uh, that's funny. He does kind of look like a Purple Lance. Andre? Ah, uh, there's no way I could have won. Yeah, you're right. I mean, if you only brought one Pokemon to the battle, you're not really gonna do so hot. I don't know what you expected. So anyway, we're moving on. I gotta make my way through. I think this is the way. Great, come on, man. I don't have time for these battles. I don't wanna fight these guys. I wanna get my way out of here. There is the Razor Claw. Oh, hold on. I like the Razor Claw. Is that like better crits? What's the item? What's the item for? Other items? Here we go. Razor Claw increases the holder's critical hit ratio. Mm, that's okay. I'm not going to use anything like that. Which competitive Pokemon uses a Razor Claw as its hold item? Is there one? Is there a Pokemon that focuses on crits outside of, like, Kingdra? I don't know, man. Crits were just so weird throughout all of Pokemon history, right? Sometimes crits were based off of speed stat in certain generations. Sometimes crits were, like, two times damage. Sometimes crits were, like, you know, 50% more. Weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. Alright, way to go. Kazaa, growing, man. Uh, here's Golem. Yeah, we could switch. Uh, who's got a good Golem? Oh, Grass Knot is going to destroy Golem. And you can see over here that we're getting all of the tradable evolutions in the game right now, right? We've already seen Gengar, we've seen Machamp, we've got Golem over here. Who else are we missing? We've already seen Alakazam. Yeah, everyone's there, man. What did this thing just do to me? You smacking me down over here? What are you doing? Yeah, that thing gets destroyed by Grass Knot. That's not even a joke. Uh, you're about to bring out Empoleon? I, yeah, I guess I'm going to switch. We're gonna go back to Luxray. Luxray can take care of him. I know Infernape can do a close combat and destroy Empoleon, but yeah, I don't really want to risk it. We're good. Okay, here's Empoleon. One of the first times we've actually seen this. We haven't seen Barry's Empoleon at all. Big Spark. Yeah, gone, man. I like Empoleon a lot. A steel water typing is so good. Alright, Edgar, thank you so much for that battle. That was really uh, astounding. I loved it. 
I mean, there's a, a jump down that way. Dude, this is just, there's so much to find here, man. I guess I'm going up to this Dragon Tamer again. All right, Dragon Tamer is going to bring three gigabytes. Oh, Gibbles. Oh, you're bringing Gibbles this time around. That's cute. That's very cute. Wow, look at that. All right, all right. Um, yeah, come on, Gibble. I'll switch out and just... I'll have my Altaria just breathe, breeze through these guys with some Moon Blasts. We get a Moon Blast, we can do Dragon Pulse, anything. We'll knock these guys out. Sandtome does not even affect me. Good prediction. See you later. Here, have a Moon Blast. Yeah. This guy's just gonna bring Gibble. Mm-hmm. 57, we're going. Here's a Gyarados, yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, like, these battles are, are strong. They're really just testing you to see how ready you are for the Elite Four. Oof, the Victor Road is hard. I think I'm going to uh, Volt Switch. Because he intimidated me, so I'm gonna Volt Switch out. I'm gonna go back into Altaria really quick. It seems like the safest bet if he's a Dragon Tamer. Look at that. We're gonna be at level 60 for Infernape. Uh, yeah, here's Gibble. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, our team at level 60, ready to beat the entire game. Wow. Goodbye. Can you imagine? Hold on a second. Using Volt Switch to, like, baby a Pokemon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. KO a Pokemon with Volt Switch. And then use that... Please tell me this is the end. Oh, thank you. Wow, right at the end. Perfect. I did not want to go in that cave any longer. This is the perfect time. Thank you. There's actually a lot more Pokemon in there. Like, I low-key want to go beat up every trainer so that I get access to seeing all of their rare Pokemon for my national decks. But, man, they're taking a toll on me. I'll take a look at that later. But this is the, this is the Pokemon Indigo Plateau <laughs> equivalent in the Sinnoh region. It's the Pokemon League. Well, okay, and I'm just gonna walk straight out. Yeah, yeah, just walk straight in, walk straight out, just like a champ. All right, this is where the cool stuff happens, right? So we made it all the way through Victory Road within about a half an hour, not too bad. Uh, our team is looking quite okay. If Gibble had to attack for us, or if our Gabite had to attack, it would be able to. Alright, so that's great, and here we need to buy some things, like, ah, look at all these Pokeballs, whoa. I'm gonna buy some full restores, I'm gonna buy 10 of them. You never know when you're gonna need them, and 30,000 is a lot of money. I love full restore, uh, I also like hyper potions, I have, I'm gonna buy another 10 of them, this is good. As far as, like, full heals go, antidotes, uh, paralyzed heal, I'm just gonna get that back up to maybe 10. Just to hold on to them, right? Because we've been using a lot of that. Um, this is good. I don't think I'm going to be poisoned all that much. Burn heal. Uh, ice heal. Maybe full heal. Let's let's use a couple more full heals. I'll buy four of these. Alright, this is our last stop for shopping. In case you didn't know. It's our last stop for shopping before we jump into the Elite Four. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready for it. Alright. Who is going to win in this Elite Four? Uh, taking a look at my items over here, Amulet Coin, Shell Bell. Here, we're gonna switch this up. Amulet Coin and Shell Bell, Infernape, and then we're gonna bring Infernape as the lead, as usual. We should be really good with this. Um, although, if Barry comes barging in right now, Barry is going to lead pretty much with his Star Raptor. So, I don't know, man. Okay, anyway, um, Victory Road, done. Now we need to focus on the actual Elite Four. Once we beat the Elite Four, we have the champion battle, and then we become the champion and beat Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Wow, what an awesome time. It's gonna be great.
Oh man, you guys are great. Oof, what's gonna happen with this Elite Four? Who does Barry even bring, right? I'm like looking at my uh, my retro series over here. Barry comes comes in with a Star Raptor first turn. <laughs> if that's if that thing uses like Brave Bird, I'm done, man. Yeah. So my Infernape, my Infernape when I was against Barry in my retro playthrough was level 64. Wow, can you believe that? He was at level 64, hogging up all that experience. So I'm a little under leveled for what I was in my previous game, but hey, you know what? We should be fine. We should absolutely be fine. Um, anything else I need? I don't think I need to teach any Pokemon any moves. I think we're good. I think we're, I think we're really good. All right, are you ready? Give me some big hype in the chat if you guys are ready for the Elite Four. Victory Road was pretty tough. Uh, and I left like maybe 50% of it unexplored after we did like the first layer of it, so. Let's go. I am ready, Barry. Do I, do I do this though? Yeah, I think I do. Luxray, I, since I know he's gonna lead off with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead off with Luxray. All right, <laughs> we're just gonna since we know. All right, let's do this. Here we go. It's time for the Elite Four. It's Abdali here with even more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Welcome to it. Uh, the Victory Road is behind us, but what is in front of us is none other than the Elite Four, Barry, and the Champion. So we are all set with a whole bunch of healing items in our bag. We don't need really anything else, uh, although this is pretty good. I'm going to use the Razor. Ooh, Big Root. Mm, HP stealing moves? I don't think I need that. Metronome. Metronome boost moves used consecutively, but only until a different move is used. That's actually really good. Yeah, you can give that to a, a Pokemon, and they're just going to completely destroy things. Um, like, for example, if I use Kaza, I'll give this to Kaza. Why not? Um, yeah, let's give this. Give to a Pokemon. He's not even holding anything, so he'll hold on to it. I'll use Psychic once, I'll use Psychic twice, three times, four times, I'll completely sweep the other teams. So this is good. Um, as far as the other things over here, I don't really have any other items that I would give to a Pokemon. Anyway, uh, Mystic Water, Heart Scale, I have one of them. Metal Coat's not gonna do anything, uh, and these items are done. So, all right, anyway, items, we're done with that. Let's go fight. Hold it, don't go off without me. Uh, you're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of making the challenge with a battle. All right, back in the day, he had a level 48 Star Raptor, if that's the case. How true to the original did they do? Boing, boing. Ooh, the Intimidate, don't like it. 49. Okay, so it's a it's a little different. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different. Let's do a Volt Switch. Oh, he's using Rain Dance? That's not good. Wow, that's really not good. Hung on with Focus Sash? What? A Focus Sash Star Raptor. Excuse me? Um, yeah, I, I don't want to be in on this, like, at all. I don't want to take a hit. What's he gonna do? Close combat? Wow. Um, well, let's do uh, let's do a Dragon Breath in case he wants to switch out. Pluck. All right. So that's two turns. That's two turns of rain. We have to stay. We have to stay in here. We have to count these rain turns down until our Infernape can come out and do some work. All right. You're bringing hair across. Uh, I can stay in. Yeah, I can stay in. I would normally... I would normally use a Fire-type move against Heracross, but that rain is up. What are you doing, man? Here's a super effective Moonblast. Swords Dancing. Uh-oh. Not good. Whoa, Swords Dance, man. If he does, like, a rock move, I'm done. Hello? Yo, Kazaa, man, let's go. 
Let's go. I'm not even caring anymore. It's... You are mine. Now. The metronome's starting. Look at that big tail. I don't know what the heck that is. Dude, Altaria got rocked, man. At least the rain stopped. You're bringing out Rapidash? Yeah, I can mess around. Actually, you know what? I'll stay in on Rapidash. What's Rapidash gonna do to me? Stomp? I'll give you another Psychic. Enjoy. Boom! See you later, man! You know, all I really need is a Kadabra. You realize that, right? Kazaa, man. Roserade. Oh, you want some of this? I got Metronome Boost right now. This thing wants some of this. Dude, you don't want to touch Kazaa, man. This guy's been in my back pocket the entire game. And he's arguably stronger than my Infernape. You're seeing this right now. Oh my gosh, man. He's gonna be level 60 before we know it, man. Look at that. Snorlax? I mean... I could try one hit. This is like a... This is like a mill tank rollout, like Whitney's mill tank right now. So let's do it. I wish I had Focus Blast, but this is a, a fourth Psychic in a row. Boom! So strong! That was a crit. That was a love crit. And a crunch! Wow! Talk about a glass cannon! Great! Barry, man! Go easy! We beat up this big guy. Well, he is a glass cannon. Alright, now the real king has stepped foot onto the battlefield. Goodbye, Snorlax. Thank you for the boost. Uh, here's Empoleon. I am going to destroy this Empoleon. Even though I'm against the weapons triangle right now, I got so many tools in my arsenal to beat this thing up. Level 55? This thing's strong, man. Here we go. Enjoy a close combat. No one survives a super effective close combat from a monkey. You mess with the wrong dude. Oh my gosh, what just went down? My my team still needs raising? Yeah, it does. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you, darn it. Uh, just you wait, I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Uh, because I'm going to be the toughest Pokemon trainer there is, the champion. Abdallah, you better not lose to anyone before me. Okay, I need to go heal from that. That was very, very strong. The Elite Four, man. You know, and it's okay to let your Pokemon faint, right? It's not like we're on like some sort of Nuzlocke or anything like that. Let your Pokemon faint to get a free switch in. Alright, here it is. Let me confirm that you're qualified to challenge the Pokemon League. Uh, to do so, I'll need to examine the gym badges you've gathered from around Sinnoh. Orberg's Coal Badge, Forest Badge, Cobble Badge, Fen Badge, Relic Badge, Mine Badge, Icicle Badge, and Sunny Shore City's Beacon Badge. Hello? Would you look at me? Yeah, very well. Alright, you've indeed collected all the gym badges of Sinnoh. Demonstrate the power that you brought here and uh, go on to glory. Alright, deal. Pokemon are ready. This is all I got. I won't be able to change Pokemon from now on, so let's go beat the Elite Four. Yay. Yay. I think I should turn on combat animations. It'll be a little bit more exciting. Uh, so here we go. Options. Animations on. Poor Barry didn't get combat animations for his battle. Too bad. Was that the last Barry battle, too? Okay, who are we fighting next? Oh my gosh, who is this going to be? Aaron of the Elite Four? Is this A.A. Ron? Aaron of the Elite Four. Who does Aaron bring into battle? We need the advantage right off the bat. Aaron of the Elite Four. You bring... Oh, okay, I can bring Monkey. He brings, like, a, a lot of bug Pokemon. He starts off with, like, a typical Dusk, um, Dusk something or other. Alright, let's go, Aaron. Hey, hey, Ron! Welcome to the Pokemon League! I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. Oh, I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean, and yet they're beautiful, too. 
Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. Aaron, Dustox, Beautifly. Historically, in the old game. Doesn't really look like a bug trainer. He looks like, um, that little kid, Wally? What generation is Wally in? Okay, Dust Tox, I don't want to mess around with this thing. Let's burn it and get out of here. Wow, you survived. What? No, that doesn't hurt. What does that do? Leftovers? What are you doing? Black Sludge? Uh, I guess. Yeah, sure. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Boom. Wow, 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 wow. Although I should be setting up on this dra on this uh this little bug here. I should be punching it. If I know that it's not doing a lot of damage to me. Uh, here's a Heracross. Um this is super effective damage. Heracross can do a rock move, which is neutral damage against me. Uh a, a power up punch is not very effective. Flame Wheel's a two hit KO, guaranteed. But I have no opportunities to set up yet. Oh, it's a one-hit KO, wow. How did Dustox take one? Oh, that was a crit. Okay, cool. Well, congratulations. Yikes, Heracross. It's a Beautifly. Okay, um... Beautifly? Let's talk about that for a second here. Great! Dang, Dustox is just so... That, okay, that was another crit? Come on, man. I don't want any more love crits. I can beat this game without them. Alright, it's fine. Alright, so we're level 60. Kazaa, ooh, you're coming up, man. You're coming up. We're all around, like, level 60 going into this. This is great. A Vespiquen? A Vespiquen. Wow. That's... That's registering it for the national decks. I think that's awesome. Here comes a big flame wheel for Vespi. That's a 2 hit KO. That thing's relatively bulky. I knew you could do it. That was a crit? What are we doing three crits in a row? Stop it. Citrus Berry. Defend order? What are you doing? No. Wow, okay, okay, okay. Vespi Quinn is gone. Goodbye. Wait, what? How are you surviving? That defend order? No way. Acrobatics? Whoa, 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 hey! Hello? A full restore? Oh, and you got oh my gosh, wow. What am I gonna do about Vespi Quinn? Even if I did power up punch right now and got to plus one, how much health do I have? Is this even worth it? I didn't bring a lot of revives. What's my health at? Oh my gosh. Wow, all right, well, if you're flying in bug, I guess I'm just gonna bust out my electric, dude. All right, what do you got? Acrobatics, hit me up. Wow, you're going for it. Luckily, we did the Intimidate. Dude, Spark's not doing anything with Defend Order. Like, Defend Order is no joke. It's a Bug-type move, right? Ouch. Yo, Vespiquen's strong. It's a three-hit KO. What are you gonna do, Heal Order? Heal order, defend order, um, attack order, and acrobatics? Not nice. That was a crit on me. This is strong. What are you doing? Paralyze him. How much health do I have? No way, man. Alright, you're using items to heal your dude. I don't think that that's nice. 
That's not a nice thing to do, so I'm gonna use a healing hyper potion right now. You're a loser. Aaron. Attack order is strong. Ow, 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 ow. No crits though, man. Alright, alright, no crits. Here we go, we're gonna go, uh, Spark. Aaron. That amount in Shell Bell is nothing. I needed like Thunder Fang, man. I don't have the fangs on this thing. Dude, Vespicoin was a threat. There's only one more Pokemon, so we should be all set. I should be able to Flame Wheel it. Um, next. Kazaa, man. Drapion. Drapion's Poison Dark? Oh, great, man. I... Uh, I guess I'm gonna try Altaria. <laughs> poison Dark, right? So, Kazaa's not gonna do anything. Um, a Dazzling Gleam doesn't do anything. This thing is a major threat. It's level 57, and we're not messing around anymore, man. I'm gonna try Dragon Breath to get the Paralysis. Okay, that's one third of my health. I needed that. I needed that Paralysis. The only weakness he has is... Ground, yeah, yeah, right? Fairy doesn't do anything to him. Night Slash? Crit, yeah? Hey, congratulations, man. Congratulations! You critted my guy! Ah, oh, oh my gosh. I need to... Uh, uh, mm, goodbye, man. Do it! I gotta bring out this guy to do something. Come on! You're level 46, go! Aaron! Your first uh, Pokemon League victory doesn't come easily, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't talk to me. You just critted me twice! <laughs> um, hello? I have to bring out Kazaa to be a like a fodder right now. You can't outspeed me in Night Slash? What? Do you have a choice scarf? And you got three crits? I'm gonna lose! I'm gonna lose! I'm gonna lose! There's no way he can do that! Hello? You better hang on! Are you joking right now? What is this 1 HP? I swear if this guy full restores, man. He's gonna use Earthquake. I have Levitate on Bronzor. Nice switch in. Now he's gonna use his, uh... No, he's not gonna use any... Oh, okay. Gets the Paralysis and Euro Ball, man. Let's go, Euros! Oh my gosh, do you... I don't think you fathom how hard that was. <laughs> Aaron, man, that Drapion is no joke. Yo, he got three crits in a row. Like, I get it. Night Slash gets crits more often, but like, more often does not equate to always gets crits. Uh, we lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Let's hear it. All right, uh, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Dude, please, please help me. Please help me.
Um, let me sort items. Oh, look at how many revives I brought. Um, revival herb fully restores its max HP. Look at how many revives I brought. Literally none. I, I didn't buy enough revives, dude. Like, I'm out. And this was the first battle in the Elite Four. Are we joking? Is this a joke to you? What is... This guy needs to be alive. Wait, 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 what? Um... Cool. I don't have any revives, so I cannot be sacrificing any Pokemon. Dang, man. See, sometimes you go through the entire game thinking your Pokemon are pretty much the strongest things in the world, right? And you're like, dude, my Pokemon never faint. How many times am I, um, how many times am my Pokemon faint in the entire game, right? A small handful. So you don't really make revives a priority. All right, here comes Bertha. Bertha? I gotta get Bertha out of here, man. I don't want to even talk to Bertha. Here we go. Big Bertha! Let's go, Big Bertha! I don't know. My chance of beating this Elite Four is going to be slim to none, to be honest. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it. Without buying enough revives... All right, here comes a big Quaggy, a Quaggy McQuagsire. Luckily, it's four times weak against Grass Knight. We'll be fine. I don't want to eat a, a an earthquake though, so I'm not, I can't set up. Yeah, you're done in two seconds, man. Bertha, full of birth. Bertha, you know what? I'm good. I'm good on Bertha. Bertha's got a Whiskash, typically. Uh, historically in the other one. Got a Hippowdon. That's heavy. Grass Knot's gonna eat this entire team alive. Golem, done. And Pseudo Wudo. We're all set, man. Yeah, we're all set. Goodbye. Alright, this is going to be so simple. Oh, except for when you have a berry that prevents grass type. Oh, great! Oh, come on! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What is happening right now? Um, I just gotta psychic this thing and go, man. I can't afford to like calm mine. It's gonna like earthquake me. Good, good. You better flop around. I don't care about you, man. I don't have enough power points, anyway, for all of this stuff. You can't do that, Bertha! You just knocked out my monkey! Dude, I'm actually using my eject... My, like, my panic switch right now, which is Kazaa. Bronzong, 53. Great. Cool. Pseudo Wudo? I mean, I'm, I'm already steamrolling this guy with psychics right now. I don't want to not do that. I got this metronome happening here. Oh, beautiful. What a lifesaver, man. Kazaa, dude. Keep going, man. Golem, you've got... I know, I know he's got Sturdy. And I don't have a... Uh, I don't have any priority moves on my, on my Pokemon, so... You... There's no way you can outspeed me! Explain that! Explain how Golem 
outsped did did I did I miss something here? I'm sorry. What did I miss? Hold on, hold on. Why did that outspeed me? That's a golem, man. I don't understand that. I'm I'm legit at a loss. He's not gonna touch me with a ground type move, so I guess I'm gonna like extra sensory, man. Dude, even with the speed drop, that's Golem we're talking about. No, man! No! <laughs> None of that, please! <laughs> Bulldoze, I get, yes, I know, Bulldoze lowers speed, I get it. But, like, even if your speed is lowered by one stage, that's still a Kadabra versus a Golem. There's no way, man. How many more Pokemon do you have? Because I, I cannot afford, I, I, I can't afford this. I'm, I'm losing it, man. I only want to make this run. This run is very, very trying for me right now. Bronzong is coming clutch. Here's Hippowdon. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, Infernape's done. Hippowdon is a ground type? Where half my team is already knocked out. Sandstream is fine. That's not gonna touch me. What is he gonna use? Fire Fang? How much health do I have? I got half health. I'm good. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Oh my gosh, go to bed, man. Yo, this guy knows crunch. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, man. I can't. I can't. Oh, what? Lumberry? Chesto berry. Oh my gosh, so he's got rest, most likely. If I bring in Alt Altaria, I could potentially beat him. But he might know, like, Ice Fang. Freak. Why even waste, uh, what is he gonna do? He's gonna do a crunch, Altaria comes in, he's gonna do Ice Fang, and I'm dead. And Luxray, and then I lose. I lose! Because I don't have a good team against the Elite Four and I thought I could just make my way through it? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, all right. I don't really know the moveset of these guys, but Bronzong, I don't really want... I have to let him go. I have to let Bronzong go. I don't have a revive for him. I get it. I get it. Oh, you toughed it out so, you, so I wouldn't feel sad? But you missed the you missed the hypnosis. Come on, man. I gotta let him go. Let it go. Oh my gosh! What am I gonna eat from Luxray? Luxray's got one crunch and it's done. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my gosh, so I could do a couple things. I could do a Dragon Breath in hopes of getting the Paralysis. Never gonna work. Or I could just plow down with Dragon Pulse. Quick Claw, great. There it is! That's the Ice Fang, oh my gosh! We legit lost in the Elite Four. Oh my goodness gracious, I cannot believe my life right now. Um The this this team I only have literally three working teammates and then a big backup. 
And I didn't even revive all my dudes, so GG's. You know what, it's fine. I didn't prepare. And this is a Powdown we're talking about here. Use an Earthquake, take me out of my misery. I'm going back. That is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, man. This only four is no joke. Yo, Bertha? Can, can we Can we talk? Can we, can we talk about how the game's difficulty just ramped up? What just happened? How do I prevent that from happening again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I didn't bring enough revives, man. I'm out. I don't have a full team. What don't you realize? I don't- I, I never- I didn't bring a full team, man. Yo, 30 revives, dude. That's enough. 45,000? Whatever. I don't care. Um, we need- I need a lot of- Dude, I thought I'd be able to sweep this team like I did in the old game. The old game, I just used Infernape, and he beat everyone. Literally everyone. My team was Infernape, and, like, a Bidoof. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this is fine. You know what? We got it. Give me round two. Give me round two. I got this. I got this. Don't even talk to me. Don't even talk to me. Let's go. Um. Hmm, hmm. I don't like the fact that, dude... I need some hold items. I need some hold items for my Pokemon that I'm not even using. This is really interesting. Metal Coat, Steel-type moves, Razor Claw. I don't have any good items here, man. Spooky Plate, uh, Pixie Plate. I don't need Water-type moves. Ghost-type moves, don't have that. Dark-type moves, nope. Cleanse Tag, Smoke Ball, nope. Sticky Barb, nope. Big Root, nope. Grip Claw, maybe. Here you go, I'll give a Grip Claw to, uh... I'll give that to Bronzong, get a crit, man. Wow, man. These guys are not joking. I need some other um, equip items. I gotta give something to my other guy. Steel type moves, razor claw. Oh, I got two razor claws? How did I get that? No, what's this claw? Oh man. It's a grip claw. I'm sorry, what does a grip claw do? Why did I give that to him? I thought that was a Razor Claw. Uh, held item. Okay, now that I kind of know what's going on, I'm... I got this. I got this. Fist Plate, Spooky Plate, uh, Fairy, uh, Mystic Water. Where am I getting good items from in the game, guys? That's just not a thing. Sticky Barb? It damages um, the holder every turn in mate. Latch on to a Pokemon that touched the holder? No. And I don't have any HP stealing moves, so like none of these items are good. I could probably do Citrus. There we go. Have a have a citrus berry, dude. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna need all the love crits <laughs> and love everything as much as possible. Um okay, here we go. Let's let's jump back into it. All right, here we go. Elite Four, Aaron. Oh, man. Elite Four, Aaron. Wow, this Pokemon trainer is very tough. I am going to have to do a lot of work on Aaron. Um, honestly, using the amulet coin is not good. It's not good. I don't need money. I need to win. Um, I need to win. So we're gonna go held item. We're gonna go... I'm gonna go fist plate because that's honestly the only other thing that I could think of using. Here's a fist plate. Now it's gonna boost the power of my fighting type move. So, you know what? Go for it. All right. Aaron, let's go. Aaron had a... All right. I'm Aaron of the Leave 4. It's good to meet you. I should explain. I'm a huge fan of bug Pokemon. Bug Pokemon are nasty mean and yet they're beautiful too. Would you like to know why I take on challengers here in this room? It's because I want to become perfect, just like my bug Pokemon. Okay, let me take you on. All right, Aaron. A.A. Ron, whatever you want to call yourself. We're going to beat you this time.
I am not going to lose this time around. I am going to spend my time powering up my Infernape. We're gonna do some power-up punches, man. What is he gonna do to me? What does this thing got? Yeah, four times resisted, that's cool. Go for it, man. I need to be at like plus three and we're gonna sweep. Light screen, cool, man. I'm not even using, I'm not even using special attacks. And what you got, leftovers, black sludge? Cool, cool, you're right back at full health. Okay, this is good. Now I know a little bit more about your team. Plus two. Bug buzz, that's gonna take this much damage. Beautiful. I love it. Dust Tox, you are mine. I own you. Give me a plus three, and I'm gonna proceed to sweep your entire team AA run. Bug Buzz? Light screen. Toxic? Oh gosh. I was not ready for toxic. Great. Uh, what's gonna round out his, his set? Whoa, whoa, you expelled the poison out of love? Great! I guess I'll take that. I mean, I'm not complaining. Although it makes it really easy. I was about to use an item to heal you, buddy. Alright, I'm at plus four right now. Like, I need to go. We're gonna we're gonna let her rip, man. Like Beyblade. I could get to plus six. I really can. I could set up completely and sweep this team, but plus four is really good. On super effective on every single one of his Pokemon. I think that's good enough. I'm not gonna try my luck. Flame wheel. Done. Goodbye. See ya. Never. Alright, here we go. Infernate, man. Let's go. Luxray. I need this Gabite to actually <laughs> level up and do some stuff. If we're gonna be fighting against Flint, man, if he has all fire types, this Gabite better get to work. All right, here's Flame Wheel again on Heracross. See, that's what I didn't do the first time, right? I didn't, I didn't go through and like set up all over this guy. Beautifly done, man. It's that Drapion that is very scary. This is true. A lot of us are leveling up. 60 is a very good level to be right now. Vespiquin. Goodbye, Vespiquin. Yes, plus four attack boost. This is smooth sailing. That's exactly what I, I, I need to do. Drapion is a threat though. This thing is not super effectively weak against any of my moves here. But I'm still going to proceed to flame wheel it. Don't, don't. Come on, man. Survive that. Good. You gonna full restore or what? What are you doing? Go ahead, I dare you to full restore this guy. Is he gonna full restore? Should I call his bluff and just power a punch? Yeah, okay, okay, I called his bluff. <laughs> All right, go for it. I'm just gonna hit you with another little power up punch right here. Boop. You gonna do another one? Cause I'll be glad to give you one more flame wheel. Okay, not so hard. Not so hard when you have a strategy in place. Dang, man. Aaron. Aaron, man. I don't know. Aaron is strong. Okay, we lost because I wasn't good enough. That's it. Back to training camp. Uh, no, that was wrong. Anyway, go on to the next room. Three more trainers are waiting for you. Yo, Bertha. Let's let's talk about Bertha really quick here. Bertha's Whiskash. Is going to be a problem. 
and I don't know how to solve that problem. <laughs> I don't know how to solve that problem, man. I don't know how to solve Bertha's Whiskash problem. I can get rid of Quagsire. Quagsire is probably going to know Earthquake. Dude, I don't know. What's up, Bertha? A preference for Ground-type Pokémon. Yes, you do. Ground-type Pokémon are amazing. Alright, Quagsire, I can knock out in one hit. The thing is, the Whiskash, I cannot. And Hippowdon, I'm gonna have a real hard time. Here's Whiskash. Again, um, this is going to be a very tough battle to beat. I think I'm, I'm just going... Uh, if that Whiskash knows Ice Beam, I'm done. Altaria's gonzo. So I really have to do this. What move did he use last time? He used Hydro Pump, and then I proceeded to just Psychic him. I kind of want to get one Calm Mind under my belt. Did he what? Then proceeded to Earthquake me? I'm going to get one Calm Mind up. I don't know if that's right. Bulldoze, great. That hurts. I'm still very fast. This lowers me by one stage. I'm still very fast. That's a plus one psychic. Come on. You can't possibly take that. Good. That was a crit that I needed. It wasn't a love crit. Let it be known. Yes. Okay. Okay. Things are looking good. Things are looking great right now. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We got this. Pseudo Wudo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, um... I got plus one on my Kaza. Why would I switch him out? Pseudo Wudo can't possibly outspeed me. This thing's slower than molasses. It doesn't even move. And it does, it does have sturdy. Not this one, though. Yeah, it typically does have sturdy. Why doesn't this one have sturdy? Alright, alright. Okay, we're doing some work. We're doing some work. Infernape 62, keep going. Here's Golem. I will switch out to Golem. Um, ooh, will I though? It's got Sturdy, and if I go Infernape, he's gonna use like Earthquake on me, and then Infernape's gone. Uh, Bronzong was a pretty good check. Yeah, he was a pretty good check to um, to Golem. So I think I think this is it. I think this is it. And I'm not going to use Gyro Ball. So, yeah, I really have to play around with this guy. Good. Stone Miss. Perfect. Good, good, good. Uh, we're going to put him to sleep. Uh, this is like capturing a, uh, a Pokemon here. Okay, so now that you're asleep, I could do a couple risky things and switch out Pokemon. But there's no point in me switching out. No, there's no point in me switching out. I can use extra sensory. Three hit KO. Look at that! Look at that! Now you're going to use a full heal. A full restore. Go for it. Uh, full restore cures the golem of its sleep, too, unfortunately. But I think we're good. Extra sensory. Here goes one. I'll do one more. He'll try another Stone Edge. Because that's all he's got. And he's missing them, which is perfect. The Stone Edge has, like, super shaky accuracy, and I would never use that. You're using your second full Restore. We're just getting it out of the way. 
Because I can't secure a, a KO. Yo, that metronome item is actually really good. I don't know where I picked that thing up, but that's working for me. Here's your stone edge. Alright, congratulations. You got a hit in. Alright, extra sensory. Here's your stone edge. Okay, cool. Congrats again. I was just so shocked when... <laughs> when Golem outsped my Kadabra. I said, what? Excuse me? What are you, EV trained in speed? Is that a jolly, jolly Golem there? Wow. Alright, alright. Well, we're, we're going. We're growing. Okay, and now it's Hippowdon. I am going to bring out Infernape against the Hippowdon, because I believe, with my heart, that a Grass Knot should be able to KO this heavy Hippo in one hit. Alright, here we go. There's no way you have a Focus Ash. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. EQ. From full health? I can survive that. I can survive that. I did. No, I did not survive that. What? Oh gosh. Wait a second. Um, You have Ice Fang. Bronzong. Bronzong is really going to be the MVP here. Dear child, don't assume for an instant that you've won. I know, I get it. I get it, lady, you're strong. Oh, you got crunch, I forgot about crunch! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I forgot about crunch. Crunch, Ice Fang. Come on, Altaria, go, man, just face him. There's no way a hippo is gonna outspeed you. Go, hit him with everything it got. Go! Boom! See you later! Oh, goodness gracious. I forgot about Crunch, man. Woo! That is hard. Uh, Bertha. Alright, we got a strat against Bertha. Dear child, I must say that was most impressive. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, even with a silly grin. Thank you. Can I have my money back? Thanks, great. Oh my gosh, Bertha. Oh, that's what makes you so strong. I I think that you can go as far as you want. Okay, well... That Bertha was insanely hard. Uh, but we have some strategies to mess around with um, in order to combat her. Did we have a hard time? Oh, you better believe we did. Um, Infernape lost. Infernape did not secure the KO, and therefore he lost. And uh, just like everyone else is is getting really, really battle worn right now. And the thing that we don't realize here is not only are we just able to get all their health back up to full, we're not able to get their power points back up to full. That's just not a thing. And I don't think I have berries that can do that. So yeah, this this elite four is very, very hard. Oh, goodness gracious. Who is this next leader? I don't even know what he's going to carry. Oh, Flint, Michigan over here? All right, all right. We're going to take care of Flint. Oh, you better believe we will. He's going to get it. My gosh, he's hard. Whew. Let's take care of him on the next one, shall we? Guys, what are we doing? I don't even know what Flint is going to bring. He's got an Infernape. I got a Gibble. I got a Gibble, and I can give him the Metronome. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, because all I'm going to be using against his Pokemon is the Metronome. So if I start with Gabite... <laughs> if I start with this Gabite, that you didn't want me to swap out for an Adamant one, but that would have taken me hours to find one. Alright, here we go. So I'm thinking go bite against his team. Let's do a little bit of game pre-show planning here. Flint Michigan over here has five Pokemon, a Rapidash. KH Hayden, what's up? 
uh, for today's DoorDash fund. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, thanks for fostering Kay's love of all things Pokemon. It started a year ago with a uh, Rowlet from our favorite YouTuber. Yay! That's great. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you so much, both of you. Um, I'm excited. It's hard work, but it's very exciting. Thank you, Kay. You're the best. Uh, we've got a Rapidash. We have, after Rapidash, there's going to be a... Oh, that thing can bounce. Rapidash with bounce. You've got a Lopany, which I can easily power up punch. Mm -hmm. We got an Infernape, which I can bulldoze. There's a Drifblim, which I can bring our electric guy for Drifblim. And uh, we got a Steelix at the very end, uh, which I can easily, I don't know, use a special move against. I don't know. I don't have a water type Pokemon. This is actually really tough. All right, let's see how we do. All right, let's jump back in. Welcome, everyone. It's Abdallah back again with another exciting episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. We're over at Flint right now, and Flint is a fire type trainer. He's got a Rapid Dash. He's got a Drift Blim, he's got a Steelix, he's got a lot of different Pokemon. So I'm excited to see how we do. I'm going to legitimately give my Gabite a shot at doing some damage. This is a baby Garchomp in which we found in a, a random cave. We'll see exactly how we do. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let's jump in. Yo, trainer! You had me counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Okay. Alright, put your suspenders on, man. You can't just wear them on the side of your pants. Here we go, Flint. Rapidash. Oof. Here it is. Now, if this Rapidash bounces, that's really scary. But I got him because I've got the natural advantage here, right? He's got 10 levels on me, though, so there's also that. Good luck. Can we talk about that for a second? How the heck do you know hypnosis? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Wake up. So you mean to tell me I, I get a, I get hit by a free Iron Tail? Good. Eat a bulldoze. Lower that speed. Let me outspeed you now, like a Golem outsped a Kadabra somehow. What? No. Dude, I got robbed. Alright, 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 alright. That's fine. Gibble, you you tried your best. Infernape, it's time to come out. It's really time to come out now. I don't want to use my close combats, man. I don't have healing for them. I'm running out of power up punches, too. What are you going to do? Bounce up in the air? No, good, 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 good. Oh my gosh, that would have been terrible. A full restore, this is good news. Danielle, this is for you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Glad to have you. This one's for you. That's a plus two right there. I am going to now go for the power up punch again. And there is, I'm already committed. I'm committed to this monkey now. I'm at plus three. There's no way. There's no way I can not continue this. Like, I gotta go. Here's low punny. Alright. Low punny. Low punny, the little bunny. Get power up punched to smithereens. Boom! See ya. Alright, that's great. Okay, so my my attack stat is through the roof right now. I have to somehow outspeed enemy Infernape and proceed to power up punch it. Um, this is a plus four. This is a plus four flame wheel. 
and we're going to knock this thing out. But it survives on a little bit. Hits me with an iron tail. I survive it. Good. Okay, here we go. Um, I, I'm running out of power-up punches, folks. I really am. I could power-up punch him. But he's, he's actually going to heal right now. I'm going to call his bluff. He's going to heal. There we go. Because they all have two full restores that they use. So what I have to do right now is I have to... Power up punch him one time. And uh, I'm gonna save a power up punch right now, and I'm just gonna do flame wheel. It would make sense to KO him with a power up punch. I get it, trust you, trust me, trust you me. <laughs> Here's the infernape. Oh, it's a drift blim? Oh, we're good, we're good. I might eat that aftermath though. I'm at like plus five right now. There's no way I can lose this. Wow, look at this. Okay, we're doing work, we're doing work. Here's your Infernape. Okay, Flint is pretty easy. Ah, oh, man. All right, it's a mirror match. Who's going to win? I have to power up punch in order to win. You outsped me! You outsped me, man! No way! Oh, dude, come on. Yo, you're EV trained in speed? Get out of here. All right, come on, Kaza. Let's show him who's faster. Wow, man. All I needed was one hit and he outsped me. Can you imagine that? I'm going Psy Shock, dude. You're done. You can't! Oh my gosh, you can't. I survived that with like a little bit of health. That wasn't a love survival either. Wait, what are you doing? You can't survive on... <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> you can survive on a Focus Sash? And you have Priority Mock Punch? Oh my gosh. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. He could have just survived. This is ridiculous. What are you going to do against Altaria? You're not going to do anything against Altaria. You're not going to touch Altaria, guy. With a thunder punch. Get out of here. If you had ice punch, that would have been scary. All right, we win. Uh, his his Infernape did throw me for a loop there. He had a Focus Sash to hang on. Even if I did do a power up punch to get myself to plus six. Like, that is amazing. Dude, these Pokemon items are really good. Well, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't looking down on you, but I didn't think for a second that I'd lose. This is fantastic. You and your Pokemon are inspiring. Okay, whew, burnt right down to cinders. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Who's next, the lead four? Who's this guy, Psychic Boy? Mr. Mime Boy? Oh my gosh, next guy has uh, Mr. Mime, which is not good against Infernape. Like, I'm not, that's not a good, that's not a good matchup. This is tough stuff. I need to revive my team. Gibble didn't do anything. <laughs> Gibble tried so hard. But that's just one of those Pokemon that are, you have to really, really baby them in order to make them good. So anyway, we're good. We're gonna make it. Okay, so we got a Mr. Mime coming up first turn. Uh, Mr. Mime. I mean, I could give Kazaa Shadow Ball. Right now, if I give Kazaa Shadow Ball, I can easily sweep through every single one of these Pokemon. Mr. Mime would eat a Shadow Ball and wouldn't have anything to touch me with because I'm a Psychic type. Alakazam would eat a Shadow Ball. Girafferig would not eat a Shadow Ball because it's normal type. But a Dark type Crunch would be pretty good. All right, here we go. Here we go. So since we have a, a Pokemon that is going to be using a move, pretty much one move, I'm going to be using the uh, metronome 
on Luxray this time around. And Luxray is going to be my MVP. Luxray is going to be my MVP because he's got Crunch. So I'm really hoping that I can do that. We got to do it for Christina over here. We got to do it. Ah, oh, man. Uh, get Brilliant Diamond for yourself and pass off the Pearl, Shining Pearl, to whoever else you want to give it to. That's the answer. All right. I think we're ready. Uh, all of our Pokemon are healed up. We are good. Bronzong is ready to rumble. He can really just switch into any of these Pokemon and take any psychic attack. So, all right. Let's see exactly how we do. Let's jump in against this very next Pokemon. It's Lucian. Lucian? Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just, arri uh, I've just finished reading a book, you see. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucian. I am a user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be an outstanding, outstanding by coming this far. Uh, they say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to do here. Lucian? I need some TMs, maybe. I can buy a new TM for False Swipe. It's true, I can. So maybe I get rid of False Swipe, because it's not doing any any anything for us. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Here we go. Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime! Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mr. Mime, Mime. Don't do a reflect, Mr. Mime. Wait, you're a fairy type. Dang it! There's a Reflect, and he's a Fairy type, so that does not do a lot of damage. And now it's not going to do any damage. So what I'm going to do... Volt Switch out, man. Volt Switch out, and we're going into Bronzong. Because Bronzong's going to take everything that you throw at me. And Bronzong is not only going to take everything you're throwing, he's going to start throwing some Euro Balls! <laughs> yeah, nice try. Four times Quad Resisted Psychic. Good job. It's a gyro ball, boy. All right, here we go. You're gonna eat one of these, please. Go to bed. Dazzle and Gleam, not very effective, man. I'll eat all these hits all day. What you got? Go to bed. Mr. Mom, close your eyes. Here we go, Euro ball time. Boom! Did not hurt at all. Great. <laughs> How pitiful. I know he's going to use a full restore, but we might as well knock out the full restores right now. Look at that. Predicted the full restore, went for the hypnosis. Smart guy, I know. Okay, so Mr. Mime is... Oh, come on! <laughs> I missed the hypnosis. Great. Now Mr. Mime's got the light screen. So he's got light screen reflect, dazzling gleam, and psychic. It's fine. Whatever. Go to bed. That reflect should be up in a little bit, but I'm all out of... Gyro balls, man. Here, have a flash. Have a flash, boy. I'm just stalling out the Reflect turns, that's what I'm doing right now. Thank you. So now that the Reflect turns are off, I can use my last three Gyro Balls. I don't know why Gyro Ball has only five power points. Wow, what a strong battle this is. Mr. Mime waking up using Dazzling Gleam. It's a strong move. It's one of his strongest. This is my last Gyro Ball. Enjoy! Perfect. Now he should be able to uh, go through and use a another full restore. Oh, you didn't. Why? Because you know that I don't have anything for you? There's my citrus berry, perfect. 
Good. Hypnosis. Come on, man. I just need the hypnosis, buddy. Let's go. Hit him so I can switch out. Okay, Mr. Mime. Okay, I am now going to switch back into Luxray. Uh, there's no reflect on the field, so I can proceed to crunch over and over and over through all of his entire team. If he doesn't wake up first turn. Good, 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 good. This is perfect. I can do one crunch and I'm in. Light screen's gone. You have no reflect up. Enjoy the crunches. Mmm, yummy. This is good. This is good, man. Flint is done. Okay, here we go. Bronzong wants to learn Rain Dance? No thanks. Not now, man. Okay, now we got Metacham happening over here. He is a fighting... Psychic type. He probably knows Ice Punch. A fighting psychic type. I don't know what moves he's got. But Crunch is neutral against him. What is he going to want to use against me? I guess I could Volt Switch out. Just to kind of test the waters and see what he's going to try to do. I could jump right back into um, Bronzong. I jump kick. Oh my gosh! Ouch! Well, that was cool. Ah, well, well, well. Look who's here. Let's go, Kazaa. Uh, we need a fresh start. We got this dazzling gleam with your name on it. Super effective. Gonzo Metacham. I hope you enjoyed that high jump kick, as it will be your last. Alright, we're looking good. We're looking good. Keep going. Come on, Kaza. Come on, Infernape. Everyone level up. Giraffarig is a normal psychic? Normal psychic. Uh, normal psychic... Uh, meaning, yeah, Luxray can do some work to it with Crunch. Yeah, I could crunch this guy. I could crunch this giraffe. I could crunch this half giraffe, half whatever the heck the other half is. What is the other half? A little monster? Yummy! I knew you could do it. Ooh, get the uh, defense drop. Cool. Trick Room. Oh, that's not cool. So slower Pokemon go first then, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's good for you for this one turn. I can survive a Psychic. Yes, with... Uh, that was like a 45% damage hit. Good job. But we need to remember that it is Trick Room now. So we have like maybe four more turns where the... Every, all the dimensions are twisted with speed stats. So the slower Pokemon go first now. Uh, Gabite's relatively slow, so I might be able to outspeed, technically? Oh, yeah, Alakazam. Um, who's slower than Alakazam? Gabite? Um, Gabite's got bite. <laughs> Gabite has bite. Um, Luxray? Luxray is slower than Alakazam, naturally. And Trick Room's still up right now, so that's a big disadvantage for him. Uh, so see you later. Um. Later, Alakazam. Yo, your Trick Room was terrible. Yo, why would you do that? What a misplay. All right, that was good. I thought I had to actually think about which speeds my Pokemon are and like switch out the right one because we're in trip, Trick Room. Um, here's Bronzong. So, Bronzong is is relatively slow. He will go first. Now, what should I do? Well, you got Bronzong, and Bronzong, as we know, is a, is a threat, man. This thing is so good. Um, I just need to keep crunching. Earthquake! Oh! Oh! 
come on! I didn't know where are you get an earthquake from. Oh my goodness gracious! That's my only ticket against Bronzong. Bronzongerson. Um, dragon moves don't do anything against him. Goodbye. I mean, I don't know if he's anything. Oh, I could do goodbye. Come on, goodbye. Let's go. We gotta stall out these turns. Um, I don't want to find out if he's levitate or if he's heat proof. I I low key don't. So, Euro ball hurts, but I survived it. Cool. A quick baby nibble. Just the nibble. That was terrible. That was terrible. Um, dimensions return back to normal. I kind of want to find out if he's levitate and just sacrifice my guy right now. If I find out that he's levitate, I'm going to lose my guy. Kazak can come in and literally do nothing. Infernape is my only hope against him with Flame Wheel. Altaria's got nothing either. Luxray can come in and crunch for a lot of damage. So, you know what? Instead of instead of doing that... No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. We're going to do a uh, Revival Herb. This is a Max Revive. We're using a Revival Herb and we're sacrificing Gabite. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we're here. Now we're here. He's not gonna trick room me. I might just eat. We're gonna do that. Oh, this is great. Actually, I got an idea. I got an idea. Check this out, check this out. It's his last Pokemon. So I'm gonna do this. We're gonna Volt Switch out. He's going to use Earthquake, right? We're gonna bait him to use Earthquake right now. Watch, watch this big brain play. Watch this big brain play right now. Oh, he's using Trick Room now. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to use Earthquake. That didn't work out as expected, but we can stall out the Trick Room turns. It's not a problem. Um, I can probably roll for some Paralysis. He's got Dark Move in the form of Payday. Or Payback, I'm sorry. That's not good for him. At least not right now. I'm out here simply just trying to get the Paralysis, which I did, which was successful. Um, yeah, he's got Payback, so Payback's not going to really do too much. We're stalling out the turns right now at this point. What are you doing? Citrus? What is this? Come on, man. I'm, not, I'm having a hard time getting all of these other moves going, dude. Get out of here. He's not going to use Earthquake at all. So I have to catch him on the turn where he's going to put Trick Room up one more time. Um, battle. Um, how do we see the... I don't know how many turns of Trick Room there is. I'm going to switch out. We're going to Luxray. Good job, Altaria. You did great. I'm not going to eat an Earthquake. He's not going to predict that switch. And he's minus two right now on physical attack. And he's paralyzed, so good luck. Did I miscalculate? No, I did not miscalculate that. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Volt switch him back out. Okay. Yep. See what we're doing here? See what we're doing here? This is great. We are messing this guy up. Go ahead and trick room all you want, man. I'm going to keep on chipping away at you. And since I intimidated him twice, his payback is going to do garbage damage. His earthquake's going to do garbage. His gyro ball is going to do garbage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, where did you get that from, guy? Easy, easy, man. What the heck? How many more gyro balls does he have? I should be counting his gyro balls. He only has five. Stop! Oh my gosh, that's still a lot of damage, man. Like, what is he doing? Oof. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a Dragon Pulse to do a little bit more damage, but honestly, I just need to do a switch to... What's his name? I need to switch to Luxray one more time and then win. That was not worth this thing. He's using Payback. It's super weak. He goes last. It's fine. He got a crit! Hey, congratulations, man. Good job. Good work, dude. Good work. I, this is the hardest I've ever had to work for a, an Elite Four battle. Do you realize this? Our team was nowhere near ready to beat this these Elite Four guys. This is so ridiculous. Um, anyway, GG's. Nice knowing you. Wait a second! <laughs> he was waiting! Oh, great! You were waiting. You were waiting for that, huh? Oh, defense drop. Clutch, clutch, clutch. And look, the timing of the trick room is done, you fool Bronzong. Goodbye. Or should I say bad bye? Woo, boy, man. That was hard playing around that Bronzong. Oh my gosh, Altaria, man. You need that experience. Lucian. Lucian, though, man. My power is real. Last full resort re restore. We were whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, great! Come on, Garchomp. Maybe you can do something in the next battle. Uh... The Sinnoh Elite Four, man. All right, we got ourselves a Garchomp. Just when we needed it. Just when we needed it. Oh my goodness gracious. It's a Garchomp. Cool. It flies at speeds equal to a jet fighter plane. It never allows its preys to escape. Whoa. It wants to learn Crunch. Yeah, better than Bite. That's for sure. Let's go. You got Dragon Claw. You got Bulldoze. Cool. I wish you learned Earthquake, big guy, but you don't. You don't have that. All right, this is pretty clutch right now. Congratulations, you've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. I yawned right in front of that guy. How rude, right? How rude. Alright, well, that was really hard for starters. Bronzong did a lot of heavy lifting. I'm very proud of him. Now comes the very end. The very end. Let's take a look at our Garchomp really quick, uh, because we gotta welcome the Garchomp to the team. Really good Pokemon. Uh, let's see, let's check summary. Uh, this Garchomp now has a rash nature, it always had that, plus a plus special attack. Wow, really good, good job. That Dragon Breath move of yours is gonna be really awesome. Um, his attack stat is at 150, which is very strong. Um, his speed, look, he's even stronger than Altaria, right off the bat. Even though he's like 10 levels lower, he's stronger than our Altaria. Do you see that there? Well, that's really good to know. And faster, too. So 136 speed? Wow, really, really fast. 136 speed is a little bit slower than this guy. Attack is at like 150. Dude, his attack stat is at 150. Are you seeing this right now? That's like upwards of our monkey over here. That's really cool. Okay, well, um, I'm down. I'm down to do some work. All right. So let's, we got a game plan against uh, Cynthia. We got to really, really think about it uh, before we actually go over to Cynthia. Cynthia typically starts off with a Gastrodon, um, according to my previous series, right? My previous series we went through, we fought Cynthia, and she's got some really, really good Pokemon. But I honestly don't know all of their moves. I don't know what, um, yeah, what she's going to bring. Gastrodon, Milotic. Uh, Milotic with Surf. Oh my gosh, it typically has Surf. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do that. I got... Oh my gosh. And then a Garchomp? Cynthia's Garchomp? Who am I gonna fight Garchomp with? 
B barrel? No way. I don't even know. We have to we have to really make this count. Cynthia's Garchomp, and then I think Cynthia has what? Like a, a Lucario at the end? A Roserade here. I should actually show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm looking at me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm looking at me over here. Um, you got a Roserade, which is going to be pretty easy for us to beat up, and then a Lucario. Look at this guy having a struggle bus time. And in this in this series, folks, um, what I did was I really only used Infernape. Like, I had, like, B-Barrel, and I think there was, like, a, a Starly on my team. But I made it to level 69 with Infernape, and um, we, we dominated. We dominated with Flame Wheel. Oh, my gosh. So, anyway, there, there's a lot happening. All right, Cynthia, we're coming for you. Hide your kids, hide your wife. We're coming for you. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be pretty amazing. Let's let's get Cynthia right now. I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Woo! Spirit Tome? Oh, Spirit Tome's first. Did I miss that there was a Spirit Tome over here? Why didn't she start with Gastrodon? Wait, where are you guys getting Spirit Tome from? Oh, is that right? No, you're correct. Yeah, you guys are absolutely correct. Yeah, she's got Spirit Tome over here. Look at this awesome guide. Spiritome new Psychic, and I barely survived with a crit first turn. Do you see this? Do you see this man? All right, so I did two hit KO with a flame wheel. Dude, I don't know, man. Gastrodon gets owned. Do you think, there's no way that that thing's gonna learn Psychic, but Fairy would be pretty good right off the bat. Maybe we bring, maybe we bring our, um, our dude. Maybe we bring, uh, oof, because Gastrodon can easily get owned by Grass Knot. Like, I'm not a, the only thing that's really scary on this team, the only thing that's scary on this team, seriously, is Milotic. I don't know how I'm going to beat that thing. Like, at all. I have no idea how. This thing knows Surf. It knows a whole bunch of other stuff. Maybe I could use, I don't know if it knows Ice Beam. If it does, then Garchomp's done. Milotic is the threat. It used Surf against that. Uh, Infernape, and then it uses Aqua Ring. I tried some close combat nonsense and then beat it up with, with brute force. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's gonna be hard. Alright, you guys ready? Let's, let's do it. It's the final one, man. It's the final countdown. It's, I don't know how I'm going to beat up the Milotic, to be honest. Like, I I don't know. I I can possibly beat it up with Psychic. Psychic Boy over here. Who needs the Metronome? I need that Citrus Berry, dude. Unless I have, uh, hold on, hold on. Unless I have a berry that prevents water moves? Oh, dude, I got trash berries, man. I have no damage reducing berries at all. Oh, we got Lepa. That's good. I can use Lepa to recover power points if I need them. That's great. So, that being said, can I power up? my Infernape, and then close combat her entire team? I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't have any good berries. Okay, you know what? I, I think we're ready. We're gonna go with Altaria for the very first one. We're gonna swap Pokemon. A Garchomp will see the light of day. I will use him somehow in w some way, shape, or form. I have no idea how, but anyway, we're gonna do it. We're here. It's finally time. The Elite Four Champion. It's Cynthia. The best looking NPC outside of the Ace Trainer female in the game. I'm really excited for this. I don't know how things are going to go. Spirit Tome, uh, Gastrodon, Milotic, Garchomp, uh, Roserade, Lucario. Those are six Pokemon that she had in the old version of uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. 
but we'll see exactly what happens. So anyway, have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Coronet. I'm truly grateful. <sighs> Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. That means uh, that you triumphed over any personal weaknesses too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. But that's enough talk. Let's get on with why you're here. As the Pokemon League champion, I accept your challenge. Oh, that's my favorite NPC right here. Let's go, baby. I love the hair. All right, Cynthia. Spiritomb. No weaknesses outside of fairy. Bring it on. I got a fairy move with your name on it. Ooh, Spiritomb with pressure. I love this music. All right, Moonblast. Let's go. Quick Claw. Boo! Three hit KO. Not good. Dark Pulse? Yo, that's strong and that was a crit, man! What are you doing? Hello? Okay, if that was a crit, I can survive one more. You're not gonna double crit. Leave. You withdrawing? What? Who? Why? You can't switch! You predicted that and you switched? Oh my gosh! Who are these programmed NPCs? Wow, what a great switch! Alright. Alright, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Um, you're gonna use a poison move or something, rather? I can use a dragon type attack? I'm gonna just heal myself. I'm gonna test the waters and see what you're gonna do really quick. So let's just hyper potion, let's see what you're gonna do! Toxic! You got a fairy type move? Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. You know what? Here, hit me with that fairy type move again, will ya? Please. Please, go ahead. And while you do so, I'm gonna retaliate with... My boy Bronzong. Hit me with that Dazzling Gleam. Dude, Roserade with Dazzling Gleam? <laughs> Where did that come from? Sludge Bomb. Ooh, what a, what a switch! What an actual switch right now! Oh, you want some of this? Come here. I got you. I got you now. You got nothing. Shadow Ball! <laughs> Where are you getting this move pool? Shadow Ball? I may have to sacrifice. I may have to sacrifice. Shadowble. Shadowble. Alright, man. Who's gonna eat a Shadow Ball for me? I have to sacrifice him. Bronzong's not gonna do anything right now. So, if that's the case, then so be it. We will make a sacrifice. We will make a sacrifice. Such a slow moving shadow ball. Dude, this move pool is legit. But guess what? Game over. You will not be able to outspeed Kaza. Like at all. Not with a shadow ball. Absolutely not. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. How are you speeding? How, how are you outspeeding me? No way. Oh, thank you for toughing that out so I wouldn't feel sad. <laughs> are you kidding me? Dude, what? I don't, I don't like the love hanging on. I don't love the, I don't like the love focus ashes. Trust me, I don't. But yo, my speed stat, dude, that's Kadabra. What? You had more than 160 speed? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, well, you know what? I can switch. 
You know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to sacrifice my dude. I got a free switch right now. I can switch right back into uh, Altaria. So we're good. Okay, that was very scary. Here's Spiritomb back again. This is um, pretty interesting. I could have stayed in with uh, with Kadabra and used Dazzling Gleam, but it wouldn't have KO'd. Or maybe it would have, honestly. Now that I think about it, it probably would have KO'd. What do you have, a Citrus Berry? Come on, man. Gosh. All right, all right. Dark Pulse is strong. It's going to take one third of my health. That's easily one third. All right, Moonblast and... This thing is a threat. Goodbye. Boing. Okay, one more. Why Shadow Ball? Is that strong? That's stronger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trying to get the special defense drop? What are you doing? Get out of here. Good. Okay, so Spiritomb's gone. We have to play creative now. She still has her full restores. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, Milo Tick. This is a free switch to, switch to Luxray. Who can do some work against Milo Tick? Um, I don't want to paralyze it because Milo Tick has that what like scale ability that whenever it has a status condition, its defense raises. So don't want to do that. I forget the name of it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you're gonna use Dragon Tail or something, or you're probably using Surf. Um, yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, one third. Great. Hydro Pump? Scald. And I'm probably gonna get burned. Okay, that's 50% health. Great. And I got the burn. Congratulations. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, all right. You got burned too. Why did you get, you got Flame Orb? Oh my goodness. Flame Orb Milotic. You're gonna probably scald me again, so I'm gonna Volt Switch out. Where's Alteria? You're the only one that could take a scald. I, I need to, Garchomp's not going to take a Scald, that's for sure. Altaria, take this Scald, man. You can do it! You're a sponge! Yes, you are! Don't get burned, baby! Come on, we got this. We got this. We got this, Dragon Pulse. I can Dragon Pulse or I can Full Restore. Here's the thing. If I Dragon Pulse and miss the KO, I'm going to get hit by something and then lose, all right? So that's one option. If I full restore, I can eat an ice beam, but we're gonna find out if it has ice beam, which Milotic typically runs ice beam. So I have one shot at this, but Milotic's defense is just so good. Uh, so Milotic has Flame Orb only because it boosts the defense. Um, she, Milotic doesn't have Guts. That's not the. That's not what you're thinking. Uh, she's got some sort of scale ability that whenever you have a status effect, you will get a boosted defense. So Flame Orb makes sense. All right, all right. I gotta figure something out. I gotta figure something out, like quick. I'm gonna go for Full Restore. I'm gonna do it because. I need to. It is my destiny. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's a free healing right here. Gastrodonski coming out. All right, Gastrodon. I don't like Gastrodon, but I don't know what it's going to use. Like, at all. I don't know what Gastrodon's... Oh, Gastrodon could use Ice Beam. Why else would you switch into Gastrodon? I mean, it's not... I mean, it could be four times super effective. I don't want... I don't want to switch a Pokemon in and then, like, eat a, eat a hit, right? I'm going... I'm going to go... I'm bringing it in. If you're using Ice Beam, it's going to be a resisted hit on me, and I can proceed to Grass Knot. Rock Tomb? What are you doing? What do you, what, what does that do? Minus speed? Defense? Oh gosh, oh gosh, that was not good. You cannot survive that. Oh 
shoot. Earthquake. Rock Tomb again? Oh, good, 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 good. What do you have? L leftovers? Come on, man. I need a min-max roll here. I need a min-max roll here, baby. Oh, good. <laughs> that was a min-max roll. We needed that. Okay, who's left? Who's left, man? I'm having a hard time. Milotic, yes, yes, yes. We have, oh, Luxray. Yeah, I got a Luxray that can easily come in. I can Volt Switch out. And uh, Altaria can take a hit. Or, 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 check this out. We both use full restores. We both use full restores. There's no, there's no reason not to. <sighs> the burn damage. The burn damage will take it out. I guarantee it. But I have to, I need someone to, I need someone to take this Scald. And Alteria can take a Scald. You know what? We're good. Here we go. Here we go. This is crazy, man. All right, here we go. We're going to Volt Switch. Super effective, not gonna KO. It will KO, perfect, perfect. So I can switch into anyone. Mmm, where's Garchomp, man? Where's Garchomp, man? I'm gonna switch into, you want it, you guys wanna see Garchomp v Garchomp, right? Like that's what you've been waiting for? <laughs> Mine's a baby, dude, don't even. Okay, so it's gonna be Garchomp. Um, Garchomp's gonna use a move. I gotta bait out a certain move, man. I got one quick hit with Kazaa here. All right, here we go, check this out. It's either Garchomp or Lucario, man. We got this. Yes, Lucario. Let's bring in, um, let's bring in Luxray. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Luxray. Oh my gosh, here's Lucario. I need to close combat this boy. All right, here's one close combat and I'm out. All right, luckily I'm bringing in, oh, you have inner focus. No, that's what I was gonna do. I was just gonna try to intimidate. That's not good for me. All right, so here's Lucario who has typically like extreme speed. Let's Volt Switch out. You outsped me and Dragon Pulse me. Well, that's a thing. You're not gonna outspeed my monkey. You're not gonna outspeed me, man. That's right. And you don't have sturdy because you have inner focus. See you later, that was a crit. You didn't even, it didn't even matter. Okay, I I low key needed, I low key needed my Luxray for that. So um, how am I gonna knock out this? How am I gonna knock out this Garchomp now? All right, I'm gonna do one thing from Kaza Kaza here. Kaza is fast, man. Garchomp is fast, but I might be able to do some work with this. Can't remember last time I was put in a corner like this. All right, come on. All right, so... <sighs> it's a fast Pokemon. Garchomp is naturally a fast Pokemon. Faster than my guy, though? So I got an option here. Do I risk the Dazzling Gleam to do, like, half of its damage? Or do I use this time to do a full restore? No, I got this. I got I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Go. Great! Cool. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I couldn't have done anything. Oh, you toughed it out so you so I wouldn't feel sad? Well thank you. That's not enough damage.
All right, here we go. Um, yeah, uh, how about, how about this? I can't Volt Switch either, and I'm going to lose my Luxray, so we're going... <laughs> Dude, I mean, if he, he doesn't have a boosting attack, does he? Garchomp can't learn Dragon Dance. It's fine. I, I kind of needed that, but honestly, it didn't matter in the long run, because we're going to go Luxray. I'm gonna do some intimidates here to lower his attack a little bit. This is this is Cynthia's Garchomp. Uh, we're gonna switch. He's going to go for the. He's gonna go for an earthquake. I just know it. He's not gonna be big brain and go for like an outrage. He's gonna go for the easy earthquake. I'm just gonna switch my flying type. Yay! Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now with that being said, we can now switch back into um, Luxray. And then hit him with another Intimidate. Okay, so he's minus two right now. If he uses a Dragon Attack, he's gonna reveal it. Dragon Claw. Not gonna do that much. Oh, yep. See ya. Okay, so now we're gonna play this game again. Uh, is he gonna get wise to it, though? That's the thing, right? Is he gonna go for the easy Earthquake? Because I'm... Oh, here's an Electric type. I better use Earthquake. Come on! You're not gonna see through that. Loser! <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. What a loser. Oh my gosh, sorry Cynthia. As much as I love you, you're getting, you're getting, we're reading Cynthia like a book right now. Get ready. We are reading Cynthia like a book. Like I read book. And survive it with a little... Okay, that's fine. You know what? I honestly... Luxray did its job. Luxray, you done did your job. Here we go. Garchomp v. Garchomp. Are you ready for this? I kind of want to see what the outcome is going to be. Just for the lulls. Okay, so I can do a Dragon Claw, which is 80. Super effective. Wow, that's actually very strong. Or I can do a special Dragon Breath and maybe get the Paralysis. I am a special attacker, aren't I? That's okay, let's go Dragon Claw. Here we go. Did I just lose? Did I just lose? <sighs> I I don't know what to do now. Um, she's gonna use the full restore. That means I got one free turn. Uh, this is a lot, a lot harder than I thought. I should have just KO'd her. Instead of, like, saying Garchomp v. Garchomp, man, no way! Come on! Um... Revival Herb. She's gonna sweep my team. She's gonna sweep my team! I need to paralyze her or something! I'm, I'm going for the paralysis here. I need it. It's not, that's not good enough. That's not good enough right now. Um, 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 folks, those Intimidates were great and everything, but they, if this thing Sword Stance is up, I'm done. There's a super effective Dragon Claw, and I'm out. I'm out, man. 
Dude, I did not expect that. Okay, Luxray. Actually, yeah, yeah, I gotta go Luxray. If this thing swords dances while I switch into Altaria, I'm done. Oh my gosh. I need the double intimidates, man. Now remember, we still have our ace in the hole, which is Infernape. Oh my gosh, stop! We can't, I can't deal with that. She's gonna get to plus six and I'm done. <laughs> That's it, I'm done, I lost. I'm done. I, get, I have to go for the attack. I have to. I have to go for the attack right now. You are at like a... I don't even know what you're at now as far as pluses and minuses. That's not strong enough. I don't like this Garchomp at all. I need a crit, man. Give me a love crit. <clears throat> Go! Oh my gosh. These mind games were so hard. Oh my gosh. Cynthia's like, dude, I had enough of this. I'm just gonna Swords Dance in front of you and sweep your entire team. Oh my gosh. How did we do this with this ragtag team of nobodies? Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger. Now, you became the most powerful of all trainers. You're now the newest champion. Holy moly, that was the hardest battle I've ever done. And she was actually jumping around and switching her Pokemon out. That was excellent, truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. You have both passion and uh, calculating prowess. Together you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Now then, step onto the lift. <laughs> yeah, you better believe your Pokemon are going to have to be at level 70 to make that easy. Yo, we joined this and we had, what, uh, Pokemon that just reached level 55? 56? No way, man. That took a lot of out-of-the-box thinking with whatever we had. We didn't build a team. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Abdallah, your last battle was splendid. Dude, I'm a Pokemon master. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Ah, uh, a child. Uh, a child I enlist for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness their crowning achievement. Abdallah, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Step this way, please, Abdallah. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. Dude, that Garchomp is not a joke. I thought her last Pokemon would be Lucario, but no, it's Cynthia's Garchomp. That's just what it is. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. Uh, if the last time you were here was when I became a champion, then yes, it would be quite a long time ago. Abdallah, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded for posterity here. Uh, what uh, you are leaving are memories of your adventures so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of your achievement. Dude, that was really tough.
We didn't even use Infernape against Garchomp. I would love to have seen if it would survive a close combat. Altaria, 64. Luxray, 62. Garchomp, 49. Just evolve, man. Yo, Kazaa, not even Alakazam. Bronzong did a lot of heavy lifting. I was not expecting it to. And, uh, of course, Infernape swept many, many Pokemon. Didn't use a single close combat, though. My team! In 21 hours! League champion, congratulations. Um, I wish I could say, oh, yeah, I built this team, and, you know, it covers this, that, and the other. No, man. I'm just like, all right, how are we going to get to the end of the game? I'll use Infernape. Uh, maybe I'll use Altaria to help catch Pokemon. Bronzong to help catch Pokemon. That's why he's got Flash on him. Garchomp is kind of cool. I would like to have one. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, Luxray is kind of great. Yeah, we'll use him from the beginning. And we got this awesome Kadabra. So when is Kadabra not good? Oof. That is a team. Welcome to Pokemon Shining Pearl. What did you think? That was intense. That was really, really intense. Wow, wow, wow. Cynthia. Cynthia just pulled no stops. I'm like, ha ha, you got a Roserade over here. And the Roserade is not going to do anything to my Altaria. It proceeds to use a Fairy move. I switch into another counter. It proceeds to use Shadow Ball. Like, what? What are these wide move pools? That's so crazy. Anyway... Uh, so we now have beaten the game, but the game is not over. If you guys would like to see some post-game action, please let me know. I'll be glad to jump into uh, live streams and, and see what's going on. We have a whole bunch of legendary Pokemon to capture. We've got the Premier Ball Challenge on the Lake Trio. Now that we've beaten the game, this game is going to open up a little bit more. We'll have access to like maybe a Battle Tower or something like that. Um, we'll have access to all the legendary Pokemon. The Underground now expands fully. Because if you go in the underground before getting seven badges and before beating the Elite Four, you're not going to get as many different Pokemon in the underground. So I'm really excited about that. That's just super fun for me. Um, so now there's going to be a bunch of other Pokemon just floating around under there. We got to fill up our Pokedex. Uh, I got to fill up the National Dex for one. So maybe we might do a like a trading stream. Where it's like, oh yeah, let's fill up the national decks. Like, who has this Pokemon? Cool, like, let's just trade. Uh, and then we could just fill that up. Because once you get the national decks, you'll then be able to get the Poker Radar, which is going to be an easier way of catching shiny Pokemon within the game. And I'm not going to do any shiny hunting unless I filled up the, uh, or I, until I get that shiny charm. So that's going to be pretty fun. I'm excited for it. It's cool to bring Pokemon back, right? We've been playing this game nonstop for two days. And uh, it's just it's just overall great to see Pokemon back, right? It may be a, uh, you know, like a, a remake of Pokemon Pearl. You know, these old games that we're like holding on to on my desk over here. They may be a remake of both these games, but like overall, I thought it was great. I thought the game was pretty polished. Uh, almost as polished as the floor is in the Pokemon Center. Like that's oof. Almost as polished as that much. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought the game was cool. It's great. Beat the game in 20 hours, you're done. Uh, again, and like post game is gonna open up a lot more, and I, I can't I can't wait to see it. Like I hear that, like Pearl has a, a bunch of exclusives that are for like legendaries. I think Pearl you get like the Gen One birds, and then with uh, Brilliant Diamond you get like the Gen Two dogs like Entei, Suicune, and Raiko, Raiko, versus like Zapdos, Moltres, Uno, Articuno. Interesting. I'll take a look. And then one of them has like Ho-Oh versus Lugia. We're, we've got a lot to catch as far as legendary Pokemon go. So it's going to be a great time. All right. So what did you think? What did you guys think of the game? Let's talk about it. The graphics look good. These, these little chibi graphics, they're good. I like it. Um, I think it's very fun. I, I like the fact that they got rid of a lot of the HMs, which were kind of annoying. And if you guys saw my previous series, you knew how annoying it was because we had to carry around two B-barrels. Uh, one for like strength, cut, rock smash, and the other one for like waterfall, um, surf. Yeah, waterfall and surf. And then I needed to carry a Starly on me to fly, which is just three Pokemon taking up my entire team. 
So that was kind of annoying. So I'm glad they fixed that here. Um, I was just curious as to like why they didn't put like like Flash as like one of those like overworld things on there, but that's okay. Yeah, so the team that made this, it was a new development team that liter literally just took the IP and uh, ran with it. I, I forget their name, it was like four letters, it's an acronym for something. I think they did a pretty decent job with this. I would really like to see the remakes of all the other Pokemon games like in this style, right? Although Pokemon Let's Go is still the best remake, in my opinion. There was just something special about that one. Hello, is this... Who's this? Is this Mom? Back home in our log cabin with a green roof. The end. Okay. The end. Press the A button. Press... This is always awkward. At the end of video games, you're like, okay, do you continue? Do you turn off the game? <laughs> wow. 1995, man. Shining Pearl. Let's see what happens now. I'll just log into it really quick and see where we're at. If we're at our house, we are at our house. Cool, here's our Nintendo Switch. Great, it's the latest console. Nothing's on TV. Cool, great. Oh, hello. Ah, Barry came looking for you a while ago. I don't know what it's about, but he was shouting uh, about you needing to get on a ship at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project uh, professor project with Professor Rowan coming along? Yeah, it is. Thanks, bud. Uh, thanks, mom. You're you're cool. Wow, this team though. Team though, right? Is that even a team? Cool, we're gonna take a quick rest and I guess we're gonna go meet Barry at Snow Point City for post game. I don't know what's gonna happen over there, but I want you guys to join me and find out. I think it'll be really fun. Uh, let's go fly. We actually didn't even do Iron Island. Uh, we There's a lot of things now, right? There were a lot of little NPCs floating around in the maps that said, hey, come back to me when you're a champion, right? I don't remember where those are at. Maybe someone is taking notes along the way. I don't know. So we'll have to take a look. All right, so yeah, that's it. Let's go Let's go to Snow Point. We'll set ourselves up for the next episode. It should be really fun. And uh, yeah, excited. Very excited for this one. Snow Point City, man. We're flying. Yahoo. And there you go. Snow Point City. We're going to chill over here inside the Pokemon Center like we always do. And yeah, we're gonna find out what Barry wants, man. What does Barry want? Whatever he wants, he's going to get. All right, cool team. I wanna do some premier ball catching. I just wanna catch legendaries now. I want Mesprit, Yuxi, uh, Ho-Oh. I want all of them. But anyway, you guys are the greatest. Thank you so much for watching the entire main story mode. Again, if you guys want me to continue and uh, start doing some videos for the post game, please let me know. But other than that, that's gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are great. Woo, boy. Was that hard? Was that hard or what? Dude, that last battle, I don't know how we made it. We made it with the skin of our teeth. I thought that Cynthia was like gonna be super predictable, right? Like using the earthquake. Ha ha, I got a flying type, switch that in. And then switching in Luxray to lower its attack with Intimidate and then just rinse and repeat. I thought we were gonna do that, and then I could just come in with Garchomp and have a 1v1, but then it had Swords Dance? Hello? Oh my gosh. Dude, that was so intense. But anyway, so moral of the story is that if you're gonna go into the Elite Four, you, I'm not joking around this, like, you need Pokemon that are like in the 60s. They just need to be in the, the mid 60s in order to win. That's just what it is. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Oh my gosh. And uh, build a team, maybe. But now, we can potentially have access- Oh my gosh, where are we even at? Hold on, hold on. Dude, my- my national dex is just about done. Look, 140! Oh, dude, Burmy! Oh, come on. Yo, who's got a Burmy? Freaking Burmy. I gotta do a Burmy. Burmy 1, Cherubi. I need to find that thing. That's two. I need a Drifloon, which you can find on Fridays or something like that. Oh, is today Friday? 
Is it only at night on Friday? Today is Friday, yeah? I need a Drifloon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like that the Valley Wind works at the very beginning of the game, right? Orberg, Orberg, Orberg. Where is Valley Wind works? Is this it? Uh, Valley Wind Works? Mining Museum? Dude, someone remind me where the heck that is. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I need like maybe 10 Pokemon and then my national dex is done. Burmy and the Honey Trees? Oh my gosh, look at this extended episode right here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Give me this Drifling right now. Don't even talk to me. Today is Friday. We're in. It's gonna be one more for our, our our decks here. Extended episode. Shh, don't tell anyone. Yeah. We did not get a Burmy and Honey Trees, nor have I seen a Wormadam. I don't know if there's an NPC that has a Wormadam or anything like that, but uh, we're gonna knock this dude out uh, by using a Quick Ball, just like that, like a champ. This is how I caught my Palkia. How did you catch yours? Use your Master Ball. Yay! Alright, so that was cool. I remember Drifloon Valley Windworks. That's like a special encounter or whatever. Cool! Hi! That's nice. Nice to meet you. Alright, let's actually take a look at our uh, Pokedex one more time. And no, I didn't catch my Palkia with a Quick Ball. No way. You crazy? Alright, there's Drifloon. Cool. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on. Ooh, look at all. Look at this thing. So only literally nine left and then I'm done. Who are these Pokemon? What? How am I supposed to know who they are? 114 and 115? Oh gosh, someone look it up. Who's next to Google? 115, 114, 134, 135. Oh man, I'm gonna look at Sinnoh Pokedex. Sinnoh Pokedex. Um, 1, 4. Unknown? What? Unknown? Get out of here. And then I gotta go get Riolu? Ew, I don't wanna do unknowns, man. Alright, so I have to somehow find unknown in the game, which I have no idea where they're at. Maybe on a new island in post-game. Um, this one is uh, the Iron Islands. Little quest, I'll be able to get an egg from Riley, and then I can hatch it for a Riolu. That's so simple. Uh, 134? Who's 134? 134 is Finian and Luminian. Okay. I mean, I was using a lot of max repels towards the end of the game, and I didn't want any more encounters because I was kind of done with that. So, Finian, Luminian, I'll find them wherever the heck they are. Um, who else? And then, who are these guys? Oh my gosh, 146. Oh, these are the... Yeah, these are the Lake Trio. Okay, this is really good. It's all manageable. I think we've done a great job. We've done a really, really good job of this. Um, our Pokedex is pretty good. I mean, yeah, sure, I don't own them all, but in order to get the National Dex Poker Radar, all you need to do is see them all. So let's go, gotta see them all, right? All right, so, so excited for that one. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it uh, for the ending. I think we did a great job uh, showcasing what this game is all about. Uh, I think the only thing we have to do left now is uh, literally post-game. And I wanna, I wanna at least complete the national decks. I think that'll be super fun. Premier Ball challenges happening all throughout this weekend. So join us for even more. Turn on your notifications so that you know when we go live. All of that awesomeness. Uh, thank you again for picking up one of these awesome designs right over here. You may or may not recognize these designs that are on there now. Oh, it's making more sense to you because you watched all the episodes. Cool. Anyway, Pearl 10 at checkout for 10% off. And of course, all of you guys that helped out with the Abdallah Smash Plus, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for that. Okay, well, uh, that's really all I got. Thank you so much for enjoying our series right over this way. Again, if you guys want to be updated on the latest and greatest Pokemon, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are so close to uh, 900,000 subscribers. We do have a giveaway going on right now, so click the link in the description for that. And uh, yeah, take a look at the playlist. We got a lot happening. So. That's it for now. Shout out to all of you guys in the comments. And uh, thank you to all of our moderators. Thank you for all of us cheering us on. Uh, thank you for uh, the chapter team. All of you guys. Thank you. Turn on notifications by clicking on that little bell icon. Pretty simple. 
and then uh, turn on all of them, right? It's that easy. All right, anyway, you guys are great. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for even more Pokemon. I cannot wait for post-game. I think it's going to be so, so, so much fun. All right, you guys are the best. See you later. Have a good evening. And uh, yeah, let me know. How, uh, how strong are you going to train your team to beat the Elite Four? Oh my gosh, that was tough. See you next time. Take care.